Hello, and welcome to part two of the WRC Rallycross Championship. Just a quick recap of the first four races, which saw some pretty dicey driving from all drivers. Sebastian Loeb currently leads the championship on 14 points. Me slash Marcus Gronholm leads with 11 points. Petter Solberg has 7 points and sits third in the championship, while last in the championship with 4 points is Armin Schwarz. Loeb has won two races, Solberg won the last one in New Zealand, and I won in Sweden. Loeb's two victories were in Monte Carlo and Mexico. So on to round five, which is Italy. Here we go. But first, did you know? Make sure you use the look back view to keep an eye on your opponents. Noted. Based in Sardinia, which is a little Italian island, and scenery looks quite nice. Starts off on gravel, bit of a jump there, lot of downhill as we go into the first corner, and I should not really cut that corner as we go onto tarmac. Another, another left onto this back straight. Now, this is a bastard of a corner because you have to brake very hard. And it gets a bit mental here as I <laughs> ran out of room on the outside almost. And what on earth is going on there? Just cars stopped. I think probably turned in too soon. And the Skoda's nowhere. I'm all right. But it's Petter Solberg who's come out a long way in front. Obviously having won the last race in New Zealand. He's on top form. It looked like a close battle between himself and Armin Schwarz. But I had no idea because... I was crashing everywhere, into trees, down cliffs, into more trees, and into Sebastian Loeb. So I'm back onto gravel now, it was a junction that transitioned from tarmac to gravel, and big jump there, and no brakes, no brakes, bosh, into the fence, but it's worked out okay, and Solberg getting absolutely sideways, and that's why he's lost the lead to Marcus Gronholm. Looking back, I think I'm safe, but you never know with this hairpin. Brake before the shadow. That was alright. Big handbrake, and that was nicely done through there. Onto the other part of the dual carriageway, this car getting skittish. It's not liking that. Brake now, onto the change of coloration in tarmac. Not sure what gear is supposed to be in, I think third's about right for that. Uphill on tarmac. There's a bit of a right here, it's quite quick, and blind entry into the junction, that's worked out okay for me. Theoretically you think, uh, oh no, as soon as I say that, I have a spin, and drop the lead, I've dropped to third, and I've dropped to last. Bottled it, oh dear, that's not going to end well, it's not going to end well. Smash into the fence once again. And Sebastian Loeb up the inside. In fact, um, where did Schwarz go? There's Schwarz. There's Loeb right behind me. This could get a bit interesting into the bastard hairpin. That's a bit too late for me. And that's why I've lost third position to Loeb. Solberg has got a big lead, so I think he's probably going to take the win once again. I must not finish last. Must not finish last. That was a good line through the junction. I can hear Loeb. I don't know where he is. Oh, he spun me round, you little git! Oh. I'm trying to spin it back round. Well, I'm going to be last again. I think Solberg is going to win this time from Schwarz and Loeb. Dirty driver finishing third. Well, I might as well just go flat out to the line. And there we go. And I've spun at the finish line and driven up the cliff. Yep, Solberg won that one from Schwarz and Loeb and me. In the end, I was 6.88 seconds behind the winner as I smash into the guardrail in petulance. 
Now let's see let's see let's see this hairpin because it's exceptionally tight. And the computer does that a lot better than I do. Well, that was a no score from me. So, on to the next one. I believe it is it is Cyprus. In real life WRC, this was one of the most demanding rallies because the rocks are so massive. And did you know, when you are power sliding around bends, you might oversteer and lose grip. Steer into any skids that occur and ease off the accelerator to avoid it. Rally 101. 3, 2, 1, go. Right, I've had two lasts in a row, and you can see the rocks on the tarmac, but those are just cosmetic. So Cyprus in this game is also one of the most demanding rallies to drive on because the road tends to be quite narrow and where on earth is Schwarz? I can't see him so I must be far enough ahead of him that I don't need to worry about him and there's a big jump and that's not gone well whack into the stone wall but we're on to tarmac now and Solberg has been tipped into a spin by Loeb there so it's me and Schwarz in the lead and there's some coaches on the outside, but that's none of our concern. What is a concern is the water on the right hand side. So we're obviously near the coast as we try and break. And I think Schwarz was right. Oh, dear me. Reset. I think Schwarz was resetting as well. And where is he gone? <laughs> He's just dri driven down the cliff. Jump. Into a tight right. It's understeers constantly. And now it's Sebastian Loeb and Petter Solberg battling for the lead. I think Solberg is actually second in the championship now, one point ahead of me. Well, there's Schwarz, who's trying to put me into another spin. And that's the end of the first lap. Quite a long lap. And big slide going into that corner and nearly hitting Solberg, I had no idea where he was at that point and trying to brake test me you can forgive the AI for doing that because they are just AI and I am a human so it's there Sebastian Loeb round the outside into there, that's a brave one and now we're battling on the cobbles in a nice little village on the left oh Get off there. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh dear. And Solberg's around the outside of me as we go into this bit. I think I pushed him off. I didn't see him. On back end, get out. There we go. They're still right behind me. There's Solberg. And Schwarz. Oh, that was bad through there. I'm still in second somehow. Oh, the back end suddenly steps out. Watch out for that. Again, it is very skittish on gravel. That was a very wide line from me. Don't think that was the best way around that. But not too bad, and somebody's trying to go around the outside of me. I'm not having that. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Sorry, Solberg, but it's out of principle. Ah, no, I'm in last. Not good. Big downhill section. Need a good run out of here if I'm going to stand any chance of points. Lub is right out into the distance now. Bit of a slide on there. Quite good at that corner. How much do I cut? Quite a lot of whacked into Solberg. Sorry about that. Back right way. And I'm in third. Oh, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. I'm in third. Schwarz is in second. I think that's where it's going to finish. Oh, but there's Solberg right behind me, so I don't, shouldn't really speak too soon. I wonder if Solberg's out for revenge off my utterly disgraceful driving. Certainly get a good shot of it after that. Oh, 
Stay in third. I've just about stayed in third. Well, I'm back in the points, but Loeb won that one, which, as a result, he extends his lead. Schwarz came home in another second place, his third in a row. Solberg gets last, and Gronholm gets a third and a single point. Oh, dearie me, that wasn't a particularly good one for me. Going through a bit of a lean spell. Two lasts and a third. As we move from Cyprus to Turkey in the Gumluka stage. A figure of eight, this one. But did you know, first place will earn you a gold medal. Try to win gold on every track using every car class. I'll bear that in mind, thank you very much. Three, two, one, go. Solberg on pole position for this one. Loeb second, Schwarz third. As we go into a heavily cambered left. With a stone wall on the inside and a guardrail on the outside. As we go from gravel to a different sort of gravel. But it's still gravel, fundamentally. And I'm in third position. Bit of contact between Loeb and Schwarz. That's Solberg and Schwarz, sorry about that. Ugh, and nudge the back of Schwarz. And oh, dearie me. And I've just about avoided the rocks. As we go through the water, underneath the viaduct. And we all went for different holes, except for... Oh, I'm being put into a spin! Oh, me and Schwarz are in the wall. Right. Solberg and Loeb are now in the lead, the two championship leaders. Although I think I might be tied with Solberg now, but he is ahead on countback. I feel like I'm in the wrong gear then. I've got Armin Schwarz right behind me as we're going to a long left, which rounds off the lap. <clears throat> Voice is dry as we start lap two. Go over some bumps into the heavily cambered left, take a lot of entry speed into there and it's quite nice through there. Into a junction. Take as much of the inside as you can. Onto the bumpy, watery gravel. I think it probably looks like it's a dried up river. Look the inside of Loeb into that corner. And that is second position for me. And Loeb is still there somewhere. I can feel contact. Me and Solberg going for the same viaduct. Oh dear, that was wet break too early somehow. Solberg put me off and I hit the inside. Do not cut that junction. Now into another heavily cambered corner. This is the right. Tightens a little bit here. Drop down to third. Got quite a gap now between me and Loeb. So now I'm going to concentrate on Solberg in front of me. Breaks quite a lot for that one. Over the jump. Oh, I've hit the wall. But I'm alright, hit the fence, but I'm still alright. Start this final lap. Loeb is catching up. To oh, Jesus! Smashing into a rock. Oh, what on earth is that? <laughs> Deary me. Oh, I'm going to be another third place as I shunt Schwarz into the wall. That's poor driving from me. But it's shaken up after hitting that rock so violently. Fourth gear, fifth briefly before flinging it into this one. Back down to fourth, into a left, which should still be fourth gear. Drop down to third because I've scrubbed a bit too much speed off. Which viaduct am I going to go for? This far one hit. Oh, Jesus! And I flipped it. I'm on my side. Splendid. This is going to be another last place for me. I miss tarmac. Well, nothing to do now except round off another difficult race for me, full of incident. Over the viaduct, now into the final left. Carried way too much speed into there. Over a couple of jumps and capping off another disappointment. So who won that one? Was it Solberg? I suspect it could have been Solberg. Yep, is third of the season. And second place for Loeb. 
third for Schwarz, and diarrhea for me. I think it's Greece next. It's either Greece or Argentina. Scrolling through here, it's Greece. This one is a mental one, I seem to remember, because it's stupidly wide. But did you know? Be careful around the crowds. I think we've had that one already. Anyway, round eight. After this, we'll be exactly halfway. Three, two, one. Go, 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 as we get underway in a mine. This is a giant buzzsaw. I won't want to get underneath that. Very fast, this one. Solberg and Loeb side by side for the lead. And sideways as we go through there. And it gets a bit narrow here. It's still very quick. There's a long left. Loeb running a bit wide. I'm up the inside. I'm in the lead for the first time in a long while. Now then. Oh, big sideways. Over the packed gravel. Back onto the compacted gravel. And there's Loeb. So, lap one, I am leading for once. Massive sideways into the long left. There's loads, loads of space on the inside, but it slows you down. So, you've got to choose your line wisely on this one. And as soon as I say that, I nearly go upside down as I whack into the rock face and receive a nudge from behind from Loeb. And I'm in the wrong gear, that's why. Schwarz is somewhere. Where is he? And I'm trying to ram him off on the inside. And they're wide again. And I receive a nudge from Schwarz. Right. Cut the inside quite a lot. That's not really worked. Around the outside of Loeb. And I'm right up the back of Solberg's trumpet. As I've shut him off around the outside. And it's worked. I'm still leading somehow. I've got a right gang of cars behind me. That's frightening. I'm pulling away a little bit now. And same rock face again. Can't do that corner. I can do this one because it's not much of a corner. Must remember to change gear, brake for the third gear, second gear left. And accelerate as soon as you feel the front end grip. Okay. It's going well so far, but that's why I didn't want to say about it. Nearly slam into a tractor. But that is my first win since Sweden. Yes. Five points for me. Three points for... Sebastian Loeb, one point for Petter Solberg, and nothing for Schwarz. So, I managed to salvage something at the end of this part. Next up, we will be going from Greece to Argentina. So, stay tuned and see you soon.